you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting and thanks for subscribing to my channel if you haven't please kindly do today i'll be talking about epipen that is a device right it's an auto injector with epinephrine epipen like i've said is a medical device an auto injector with epinephrine or adrenaline is the same medication by definition adrenaline is the name of the medication in that device if you are in united kingdom or Europe, it is called epinephrine if you are in united states and canada so it's just a matter of geographical location adrenaline or epinephrine is the same Still, by way of definition, the epinephrine or adrenaline is a sympathomimetic agent with multiple actions. It is a neurotransmitter. At the same time, it belongs to the group of medication known as hormones. It is capable of reversing the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, and that is why we use it you know, often, and that is why I'm making this presentation. Either mass cell mediated or serminergic angioedema or allergic reactions, epinephrine or adrenaline will be very helpful. An allergist is a physician with specialization in the diagnosis and treatment of allergic diseases and asthma. So, he or she will be the one expected to prescribe this device. Okay? Or at least, he or she will be the one to guide a family physician who will prescribe this medication if the distance of the patient or the clinic to the specialist is so far and the patient needs you know, assistance quickly. EpiPen is a brand name. No, a brand name of the form of auto injector containing epinephrine. Another brand is Adenaclick, but that is no longer common because it has been taken off market in some parts of the world. But still, in some regions, you are going to find Adenaclick. If you do, please be careful. Let there be that conversation with your pharmacist if you are given Adenaclick. AlvQ is another brand. That one has you know, voice instruction on it that will guide you through. Okay, this is very helpful for children that weigh as low as 7.5 kilograms, but it's pretty expensive if you are not insured. Drug of choice in allergy will remain epinephrine or adrenaline depending on your geographical location so in allergy or anaphylaxis we'll go for epinephrine or adrenaline first it can be self-administered when we are using the auto injectors we will see other situations where and when it cannot be self-administered actually it is advisable to call 911 when you have allergy or anaphylaxis and then proceed to emergency room. But if you have the auto injectors around, a pack will contain two of them, that might suffice to resolve the problem in many cases. But it is still my best advice here that even with that, proceed to emergency room, be seen by a physician. Okay. We are talking about anaphylaxis and anaphylaxis. What are the symptoms of anaphylaxis? You can become itchy, so itchy skin, itchy throat, itchy eyes, with urticaria, or some call it heels. This will define the difference between angioedema without urticaria, that could be bradykinin induced angioedema, or angioedema with urticaria, which we are talking about today. That is, you know, histaminergic or mild cell mediated. Then, anaphylaxis will be characterized, you know, with swelling. Facial swelling, tongue will become swollen. 
the lions will become enlarged, the hands, the genitals, the feet, all swollen. There might be nausea, vomiting, warm rashes, diarrhea, and fainting. Symptoms of anaphylaxis will also include hoarseness of voice, sharpness of breath, nasal congestion, dyspnea, chest tightness, chest pain, wheezing. Now, the end of the road for anaphylaxis will include hypotension, then anaphylactic shock, loss of consciousness, coma, cardiac arrest, and death. We don't want to get to this level, right? Okay. What are the benefits of epinephrine in that device called EpiPen or Adrenaclic or AquaVQ or whatever when we are faced with anaphylaxis? When it comes to B1 receptor, it will increase the heart rate. So, bradycardia is not going to be the case. It will increase contraction force of the heart. Beta 2, there will be bronchodilation. That is why asthmatic patients will benefit from this. Increased vessel dilation. It can decrease mediator release from mast cells and vesophys. So the rate of the allergic trigger, you know, the anaphylaxis trigger from mast cells will be dropping. When it comes to F1 receptor, there will be intestinal muscle contraction, increased vessel constriction at low doses, increased peripheral vascular resistance, increased blood pressure. Remember, the end of the road in anaphylaxis will include hypotension, you know, anaphylactic shock, loss of consciousness, coma, cardiac arrest, and death. Now the BP will be up. Decreased laryngeal edema. We don't want you know, the, the larynx to be constricted, to be blocked by you know, swellings. So breathing and breathing difficulty will be handled. Decreased mucosa edema and pupillary dilatation. Adverse effects. Nothing good in medicine without the possibility or probability of the other side. This medication is good, but you can be faced with palpitations, anxiety, pallor, tremor, restlessness, dizziness, headache. In overdose, that can be intracranial hemorrhage, increased blood pressure, pulmonary edema, angina, myocardial infarction or heart attack, ventricular tachycardia, and ventricular fibrillation. Now contraindications. There is no absolute contraindication to epinephrine or adrenaline. That's good to hear, right? All patients with history of anaphylaxis should please keep one EpiPen. When it comes to packaging epinephrine or adrenaline to help so people with allergy, anaphylaxis, or asthma, there are different forms that that could be. Form of auto-injectors, like EpiPen, adenoclic, AcuVQ. Generic auto-injectors are also available. Pre-filled and sealed syringes with epinephrine are available. I'll go into details of each in a bit. Then, in some regions where you can't get all this, you can still get ampoules of epinephrine, but you must have your syringes and needles available. Now, the auto injectors, different types. EpiPen Junior, 0 0.15 milligram per dose is used in children. EpiPen, they didn't put senior, but 
that is it. That is the way it is, right? If you find junior, then you're going to find senior, but they're not going to write as senior. Okay, EpiPen, 0 0.3 milligram per dose for adults. Authorized generic EpiPen Junior is available at 0 0.15 milligram per dose. Authorized generic EpiPen, they didn't write senior, right? But you know that for adults at 0 0.3 milligram per dose. Later on, we will soon know that this is not fixed, okay? Because it depends on the weight of the individual. And then I click, like I've said earlier, is taken off market in some parts of the world but it's still available in some parts of the world as well. So if you run into this, if this is what is being prescribed to you based on what is available in your jurisdiction, have that meaningful conversation with your pharmacist after listening to this presentation, please. So you can find that at 0 0.15 milligram per dose or 0 0.3 milligram per dose. Now, United States, has another brand that has been brought to the market by Kaleo, and that brand is AVQ, having 0 0.1 milligram per dose for infants weighing 7.5 kilogram to 15 kilogram. Then, other children that are bigger than that, they have 0 0.15 milligram per dose for them, and for adults, at 0 0.3 milligram per dose. Allergex is also available in Canada and some other parts of the world at 0 0.15 mg per dose and 0 0.3 mg per dose. Now the pre-filled and sealed syringes with epinephrine, this time is not auto-inject, but it is pre-filled and sealed in syringes. But the medication inside is epinephrine or adrenaline, as you, you may choose to call it, wherever you are. In that case, the brand name Sinjepi will have 0 0.15 mg per dose, and you could take a guess that that would be for children, right? Then Sinjepi, 0 0.3 mg per dose for adults, just equivalency of 0 0.15 mg per dose as EpiPen Junior or 0 0.3 milligram per dose as a prepared 0 0.3 milligram for adults. Something is different here. You must keep this away from light. Keep Simjapi away from light, and you can only store it for three months. Usage instructions are on this very device. For example, you will find instruction that you must be seated and you give it as versus lateralis. I will go into details of how you can give them later. Meanwhile, EpiPen, you don't have to be seated. You can give it standard. Now, another form is epinephrine with syringes. Here, you're going to find amples of, of epinephrine, and you'll find syringes with needles. You can see my picture here. Mm -hmm. That will be the cheapest, okay? But it has a very great disadvantage. You must be trained on how to use this because how to break the ample hope, hmm, no, withdraw appropriate dose, be able to inject intramuscularly. I'll go into details in a bit. Now, indications for prescription of epinephrine or adrenaline in that device will be history of anaphylaxis, allergy, idiopathic anaphylaxis, histaminergic or muscle mediated angioedema, severe eczema, pinned allergy, these things, allergy generally, asthma, and allergy with bitter blockers because bitter blockers will worsen the symptoms of allergy. Root. Some will give this subcutaneously, but I won't. Subcutaneous root is less preferred. Rather, give it intramuscularly. That is more preferred. When you are using 
auto injectors go for outer lateral tie, that is vastus lateralis, at outer middle third. Auto injectors will be the best in acute phase, with or without your clothes on. The usage. Get a training device that is a replica of the auto injector which you have been prescribed to use. Okay, and practice with that. Read the manufacturer's instruction space, or better still, Google YouTube, watch videos on how to use that very device. You may get voice assisted auto injectors that will be preferred, particularly the children. Administration. For EpiPen, first thing first, remove the cap and safety release. Then firmly push it against your outer lateral tie, that is vastus lateralis. Then activate the auto injector. Don't pull it out yet. Hold it in place for three to six seconds. Some textbooks will put it as 10 seconds. If you are given adrenal click, though not very common anymore, remove two calves on opposite ends. You can see the difference. For every pen, remove the calf and safety release. Here, you remove calves on opposite ends. Then firmly apply the auto injector to your outer lateral tie or vastus lateralis. Then activate the auto injector. But don't pull it out yet. Hold it in place for the next three to six seconds. Some, some test books will put it for the next 10 seconds. Sinjapi will be given differently. It is manually injected. When it comes to the auto injectors, or simjepi or the ampoule with the syringe, get one wherever you are. So keep one at school, one at home, one in your car. So when you go camping or traveling, you're always having one around with you. You may keep two or more if you'll be far away from where emergency room or hospital services would not be available. For example, you are camping in the bush and it may take you hours upon hours to get to any nearest emergency room, then you can keep two or more with you. Instantly give this you know, medication once you have that allergy, before you get to the end or toward the point of death with anaphylaxis. So administer your first dose within the first five minutes. Give one dose every 15 minutes before you get to emergency room or until emergency services is available. Now the dose. Have you killed? is available for infants or toddlers weighing between 7.5 kg to 15 kg as 0.1 mg per dose. For children weighing 15 to 25 kg, they use the equivalent of EpiPen Junior, that is 0.15 mg per dose. For children weighing more than 25 kg, they should take the equivalence of EpiPen Senior, they won't put Senior there, right? That is 0 0.3 milligram per dose. All adults should take 0 0.3 milligram per dose, but obese individuals should take two of the adult dose, meaning 0 0.3 milligram per dose, two of that at the same time, if the person is obese. 
administer the ample and syringe form by drawing the exact amount or dose. For example, if you are dealing with a child and all you have run is the ample containing epinephrine and you have your syringe and needles around, then 0 0.01 milligram per kilogram up to 0 0.3 milligram maximum for children. Please use intramuscular root. That would be better than subcutaneous root here. The disadvantages of ample you know, containing epinephrine with syringe and needles will be that not everyone could administer this. No. You need to be trained to administer this and give the correct dose. You may become too anxious in an emergency situation. For example, a mother having the ampoule with syringe around and then the son or daughter has been you know, bitten you know, by bees and everywhere is swollen and she's hysterical, crying, and that is the same mother that will administer this, there might be a problem. You may give too little or give too much, and you may even lose some because you become nervous, your hands will be shaking, and you are sweating yourself. Always consider some factors. Either you are using auto injector or the ampoule and syringe, the weight of the person, the brand that is available, the cost and the financial status of the patient, the level of education, and the ability to learn new skills. Like, you, it's not everyone that you could teach to use the ampoule and the syringe. The comorbidities around, the, the degree of severity and the possible number of EpiPen needed, all these should be determined. Other medications that could be helpful in the face of anaphylaxis are antihistamines, for example, Benadryl, bronchodilators like salbutamol, steroids, for example, hydrocortisone, H2 blockers like cimetidine, vasopressors, glucagon, and the list goes on. Okay, here's a scenario. Someone is having acute attack. First thing first, call 911. Let someone drive you to emergency room if no 911 available in your region. Start using the EpiPen right now. The first one to five minutes, grab it. You may use more than one, okay? Because you give it every 15 minutes, right? Why on the way to the emergency room. Teach your close relatives, whether he or she likes you or not, is not your headache right now, that will save your life. So teach everyone, your relatives, your friends, how to use this medication. Just in case, you might be so incapacitated to make use of it. Viability and stability. Don't keep prefilled for more than three months. That is SIMJP. Don't keep that for more than three months. Don't keep auto injectors for more than one year. It will expire. Can keep the ampoule and syringe to the expiration that is indicated on the ampoule. Okay. Still on viability and stability. If it has expired, but you don't have another one around, please have a low is better than none, you know, says some people, right? Make use of the expired one while you are heading to the major zero. Don't refrigerate and don't heat this. So keep away from the extreme temperatures. Travel. Or walk around with this device in your pack, in your paws, in your cabinets. In conclusion, the best thing here is prevention. Take the diary of the allergens and keep away from them. Then you will need EpiPen less. With that, I've come to the end of this presentation as per the use of auto injectors, prefilled syringes, ample needle and syringes, 
in tackling acute allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. Thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share this with all your friends. I appreciate it.